Welcome to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy. We're coming to you from Charlotte this week, Charlotte, North Carolina, home of the 2019 NBA All-Star Game. My guest today has helped the Milwaukee Bucks to the best record in the NBA, and he's making history here in Charlotte as the first player ever to make an All-Star team who also played in the NBA's developmental G League. Fear the Deer, Chris Middleton is here. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. So back in September, you took the Players' Tribune on a tour of your hometown. Yeah. You took them to Waffle House? Yeah. Do you remember what you ordered? The All-Star Special. The All-Star sure. Special. Yeah. And look where you are now. Exactly. That's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, it is. Um, meant to be, I guess. Where were you when you found out that you were selected to be on the All-Star team? Uh, I was in Toronto. We were getting ready to play them that night um, for a big game for about the top spot in the East and uh, uh -huh. find out right before we went out for warm-ups. How'd you find out? Uh, teammates, phone calls and texts from my family and friends, but uh, and then John Horse and and Bud that came in congratulated me and told me the news. Do you celebrate that kind of thing? Uh, I couldn't at the time, but after the game, um, we definitely celebrate on the plane. Um, you know, had the rookie singing and all that. But the rookies singing? Yeah, just, uh, what? Just, uh, just the rookie singing. Just, you know, just a little hazing, but at the same time. Wait, I got to know what this is. The rookies had to sing. Just one rookie. I mean, we, we Oh, one it, rookie? Yeah, just one rookie. Which one? Uh, Dante DiVincenzo. And what did he have to sing? Just had to sing a little congratulations song. That was it. Um, oh, gosh. Just something little. Uh, just <laughs> from the other vets, just to congratulate me on uh, making an all-star for the first time. Oh, I have to hear this one. Yeah. Are there any all-stars or guys here that you're really excited to meet? Um, really all of them. I mean, uh, I'm fan of, uh, fans of uh, a lot of these players' games. I respect them all, and um, I hope we just all have a great time out here. So you don't want to, like, because a lot of guys, they start to, like, make friends at the All-Star, yeah. and they start talking about forming super teams or where they all want to play. Like, you don't yeah. want to get in on that kind of conversation? I mean, if anybody's welcome to come to Milwaukee, I mean, of course <sighs> I would, you know, have those conversations with them and whatnot. That but is as a far as, very good answer. Yeah. You're very good at this. Um, Michael Jordan is here this weekend. He was your favorite athlete growing up. Have you met him? I have not. I've seen him a couple of times from a distance, but I have not uh, officially shook his hand and introduced myself to him. Are you going to try to make that happen this weekend? Uh, I'm not going to force it, but if it happens, it happens. Yeah. We, I feel like we should make this happen. Like, would, would you, what would you say to him? Would you take a picture with him? Would you? That would definitely be the first thing. Uh, take a picture for, with okay. him for the memories. Okay. Yeah. Most Milwaukee thing that you have done in Milwaukee would be? Uh, I would say probably milk a cow. Uh -huh. You milked a cow? My first year there. Okay. Um, went to a state fair, and my teammates kind of set me up uh, that we all had to do one thing. I was the last person to pick, and milking the cow was it. What were the other things that people asked uh, you? Like pop a shot, just stuff with fans. Uh, the oh. fans could see at the state fair. Oh, wow. So for one. you, it could have been pop a shot or milk a cow. Pretty much. You really lost I on did. that one. How yeah. was that, milking a cow? Uh, it's something that I definitely tried to forget. Um, definitely don't want to do it again. Uh, mm -hmm. But it was, it was different. Um, but yeah, it's not for me. Right now, the Bucks, um, they're not getting all the headlines, but you still have the best record in the entire NBA, even yeah. better than the Warriors. I bet before the season you knew that you guys were going to be good, but not this good. Did you have any idea? We knew we were going to be actually pretty good. I mean, we had a great season last year. Um, with the new coaching staff coming in this year, we weren't exactly sure how good we could be. Um, but we still like we have a lot of ways to get better at. Um, I mean, I don't think we really peaked yet this season, but um, we've been playing really good basketball so far. I mean, how do you peak more? <laughs> just, uh, just have all the pieces fit at one time uh, during the stretch. I think uh, for the majority of our games so far, we've only had maybe two or three guys that play well together in one game. There hasn't been a stretch where, you know, five people out there on the court at all times are playing at a high level. It seems like you guys have really good chemistry. How important do you think chemistry is, aside from just like the good basketball on the court? No, it's definitely huge. I mean, uh, we have team dinners before every every role game, um, where a Wait, couple guys. Wait, what? Yeah, just you know, guys. Like your whole team goes nah, out to dinner. It's just optional. We have okay. we'll have maybe one night five guys, another night ten guys, but we always go go out to eat on the road. Just another way to build a relationship. So it's just easy to, um, when it comes down to court. So I gotta tell you, that's not so common anymore. Yeah. A lot of guys, a lot of teams, they're very fragmented. They yeah. all do their own thing, especially when they're out on the road. So to hear that you guys actually go to dinner together, yeah. that's huge. That is, it is. Who organizes it? Um, it's kind of everybody. Um, yeah. Me, Giannis, Eric Bledsoe, um, kind of the older guys. We try to, you know, 
get the young guys involved and take them out to eat, talk to them a little bit, uh, just be great, good vets, and you know that's how you build a camaraderie, camaraderie for a team. Okay, what kind of food do you go to if it's your choice? Uh, I go to the simple, simple stuff. Uh, a little bit of seafood, mostly chicken. Um, or fish and so you like, like a that. steakhouse, something like that. Yeah. A um, Giannis yeah. chooses what? Uh, Giannis doesn't get to choose. Oh, he doesn't get nah, to choose because it's other. He's always gonna go with the Greek food, and nobody really wants to eat that, so <laughs> he doesn't get to pick. You're not down with the Greek food? Nah, not yet. Okay, it's, yeah, I mean, you should try a Greek salad. They're pretty good. I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> it. Um, LeBron James said this: Everybody in the East thinks they can get to the finals because they ain't gotta go through me. Is that what the Bucks are thinking right now? Not at all. I mean, haven't even thought about him um, this year or last year. I mean, uh, last year we didn't get a chance to face him, but uh, this year I think we will still have a great chance to get to the finals, even even if he was in the East. You took the Celtics to Game 7 last year in the playoffs. What was the biggest thing that you learned from that series? Uh, home court advantage. Um, mm -hmm. That was the main thing. Uh, neither team got a, a win on the road in that series, and it just proved how big home court advantage should be in the playoffs when you know, you go to another building and you have to face or hear that crowd for, you know, four or three games, however it, it bounces out. But home court advantage is something that uh, is very important to us now. For sure. Yeah. Uh, you guys have also gone through three coaches in the past year. Yeah. Insane, especially yeah. considering your current record. Yeah. What is it that is clicking right now with Mike Budenholzer? Uh, just this overall team aspect, how, you know, everybody on the court is an option uh, and there's an option to score too, which makes things a lot more easier for myself, Giannis or Eric Vessel to get to the paint and do what we do. But uh, on the other side of the ball, defensively, we've been a great team, uh, mm -hmm. defensive team, which uh, helps us whether we're struggling on the offensive end. We got to talk about Giannis for a second. Yeah. Uh, what is it like watching him as his teammate on the court and seeing his growth? It's cool to see. I mean, I will say the highlights are, I've kind of gotten used to them, which is sad because some of the things he doesn't <laughs> practice, crazy. yeah, some of the things he doesn't practice, we see every day in the game. Uh, so sometimes you might not see us cheering or like in awe of what some of the dunks are, you know, pick up the ball from the three point line to dunk it. Because we're used to seeing that every day. So, but I mean, he, what he does on a nine in and nine out basis is still incredible. What's he like off the court? It's a normal guy. He's a kid, man. He, uh, he just <laughs> wants to have fun, wants to smile, um, and he just tries to enjoy everybody's company. Why should he be the MVP over guys like James Harden and Paul George? Uh, one, I think his numbers are right there with those guys, and two, um, we have the best record in the league, so I think MVP and, and winning should go hand in hand. Big question for you. Mm -hmm. You're going to be a free agent. You yeah. got a max deal in front of you. Have you given any thought to what you want to do? Not yet. I'm going to uh, finish this season strong, as strong as I can first, <laughs> then, then uh, start thinking about my next decisions. But um, it's all about just being in the right situation. I mean, um, so far, Milwaukee's been great to me. So uh, as long as I'm in the right situation, um, I'll be fine. What's that mean, though, for you, the right situation? Because legacies are different for mm -hmm. every guy, like what you want your legacy to be. Yeah. It could be how many all-star games you've made, how your stat line looks, how many championships you have. So for you, what is it? It's about one winning, uh, winning and being the right situ right place for my family and myself. Oh, um, okay. That type of thing, off the court um, and uh, on the court, being with, being with the right team, uh, being able to fit in the way I want to fit in with the team. Um, so the location actually really matters to you? Uh, not too much. It's just, okay. is it somewhere that I can live, uh, <laughs> my family can live also? Uh, where but, do you not want to live? Uh, where do I not want to live? <laughs> That's a tough one. I would say Cleveland's kind of tough place to go right now. They're, uh, they're struggling right now, so I'm just keep pouring the salt on it and just say Cleveland for right now. Yeah.